I'm Dane with Scoggin Dickey Parts Center and I'd like to introduce you guys to our new product line for the AFM repair kits. Uh, this covers both the LV3, the V6 4.3, uh, the L83, which is your 5.3, which you see in front of me, uh, as well as the L86, which is your 6.2 liter. Uh, that for the L83 and L86, that covers 2014 to 2018 trucks. The 2019 and up uses a dynamic fuel management system, which requires a completely different setup, uh, which we can cover later. This kit right here, uh, of course, I'll go over. This camshaft is an option that's in the drop down. You can decide whether you're going to do that or not. A lot of times we have uh, AFM failures that, you know, maybe you lucked out. You got the lifter tick and you pulled it apart and you found only a bad lifter. And yet you checked out the camshaft and everything looked okay. So maybe you decide that you're just gonna go ahead and do the repair kit that way. But maybe you've pulled this thing apart and found that the lobes have been chewed up a little bit from a bad, bad lifter or multiple lifters, which does happen. And so you need to go ahead and get a replacement camshaft. This whole kit is a really good option for those that live in states where you know, you're not able to, uh, to do very many performance modifications, especially because of the fact that when you go through and do a DOD AFM delete, on your vehicle that it does require a tune, no matter how much the internet tells you. Uh, this is something that some states frown upon. And so they'll find that, you know, you've modified the PCM, modified the vehicle, and then you can't drive it anymore. And suddenly you can't use it for work or hauling your family around and it puts everybody in a pickle. So uh, this kit comes with cylinder head gaskets, as well as your set of eight lifters. What you also don't see in here is the non-AFM uh, lifters, so your regular style Delphi LS7, LS7 lifters, uh, which of course you can see in these lifter buckets. This has got a larger bore right here for these guys, as well as a smaller bore because you don't need to have the headroom for the springs. <clears throat> you also have two of these right here. It's your water pump gaskets. Be careful that these and these are sharp. Uh, you have your front timing cover seal, crankshaft bolt. You want to make sure and not reuse the crankshaft bolt, as well as cylinder head bolts. Another one, they're torque to yield. I don't care what the internet says. Is it really worth it if you go and reuse this bolt and it breaks off in the head and then it's like you've got to you know, borrow your friend's truck for a week or a month or whatever while you wait on service for that. <clears throat> so if you're looking for an AFM repair kit for the you know, 2019 and up vehicles with dynamic fuel management, you're going to have a few different parts. We don't have a kit set up on that uh, on the website just quite yet, maybe some point in time in the future. Uh, that will of course require, instead of just eight of these guys, it's going to require 16 because it's able to shut off all the cylinders. As I had said before, the camshaft is optional in that drop down. You'll also notice on our website that we have the VLOM as an option as well as the high pressure fuel lines. Same goes for those lifters that I mentioned before. So we do recommend when you do an AFM repair that you replace that VLOM. That valley cover has solenoids on the bottom side and those tend to fail. We tend to find that those are actually the culprit for everything else failing. And so a lot of times with our customers, they end up doing an AFM delete. And so they toss that out and they get an aftermarket valley cover or they might keep it and then just do our AFM uh, delete plugs that goes into the towers of the block. So we highly recommend replacing that because you don't want to put all this stuff back together, put that VLOM back on that has a bad solenoid or two or whatever, and then 20 minutes down the road after driving it, it starts to develop a tick again. Um, we recommend that you replace that every time that you do a repair kit on this. Uh, these are these should be pretty popular for y'all, especially like I'd mentioned in, in certain states where you're not able to do a performance modification on your vehicle uh, or just you know trying to get your vehicle back up on, on the road. Just because of the fact that, you know, as you know, trying to get stuff like this it can be kind of the easy part than trying to get an appointment set up to get a uh, dyno tune or you know just a basic performance tune on something uh, can can really require a little bit more time uh, especially with some of these shops that are backed up 
by months. So anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for coming by, checking out what we've got available here. Uh, feel free to you know like and subscribe. Uh, leave any comments that we've that you've got you know down below. Uh, we'd love to hear any recommendations that you guys have got or questions. Uh, we'll answer those. If you have any questions about setting up, setting up a kit in a little bit of a different way, feel free to give us a call and we can set up the kit and get you guys back on the road and enjoying your car the way that we like to. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time for another video.